the intramolecular aldol reaction is just an example of a variation of the aldol reaction. It doesn't really add anything new. It's just going to look a little bit different. So let's walk through the mechanism. So under basic conditions, deprotonate at the kinetic position first. This is an equilibrium, in fact, that favors the starting materials. We'll draw the pK values in a second. So pK of about 20 versus pK of about 17. So the equilibrium does not favor the products, but still enough of the enolate can be generated and as soon as it does, there's an electrophile close by, it can very quickly react with that electrophile. So we do have an electrophilic carbon close by. As they react, we can count the ring size. Remembering that five and six membered rings are very stable. and three to seven membered rings form very quickly. Their atoms are being held really close together and so as they're flopping around in space, there's a quite light, high chance that they're gonna collide with each other. So not only would the six membered ring form quickly, but it would also make a very stable ring. And so under equilibrium conditions, that would be favorable. So this is the regular aldol reaction mechanism step. So the uh, non-bonding electrons on the oxygen come down, pi bond between car the alpha carbon, carbons one and two, reacts with carbon six, and then the pi electrons on the oxygen go up. So we're gonna redraw the parts that haven't changed in that reaction. So the original two six-membered rings are the same. And we know that we're making a six-membered ring now in the product, all formed of carbon atoms. Okay, we know that carbon six has an O minus on it. Uh, carbon number one was the alpha carbon, and carbon two now has the carbonyl. So carbons one and six is that, that's the new bond. We could have specified the solvent here, so say ethanol is the solvent. And this is another case that fits um, the conditions for uh, an elimination or condensation step. So with that polar protic solvent, and we're under basic conditions, that ethoxide can deprotonate, generating another enolate, Oops, I drew that the wrong spot. So let me fix that. Okay, and then that, oops. There we go, sorry folks. And that can collapse. 
to expel that leaving group. Let's see if we can fit it all in here. Sometimes people ask why we don't just directly eliminate. It would save us a step in the mechanism. One of the big differences here is if you look at the kinds of bonds that are breaking, pi bond would be easier to break than a sigma bond. And so the lower energy reaction pathway or mechanistic pathway is to go through first a breaking of the pi bond to generate the conjugate base and then through electronic repulsion that oxygen those lone pairs collapse push over the pi bond and push out through electronic repulsion that leaving group and again that is stabilized by hydrogen bonding with the solvent